Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. It's me again. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I last posted a video, but I thought I would do this like free introduction introduction video because a lot has changed. Like I've changed my hair, changed my teeth. Not only that, but like my style of doing things has just changed. So everything I have up right now, I just feel like isn't a true reflection of like how I do things or what I do. So a part of me wants to delete all the videos I've ever uploaded, then re-upload new ones. But of course like, that's just like stupid because I'm always gonna be changing. Anyway, the point of this is I thought I'd explain like why I kind of like abandoned my YouTube because I look at that plaque and I speak to my friend um, I speak to my friend about like YouTube I'm like I wish I could do this and stuff you know but there's a few reasons why I stopped uploading on YouTube number one reason I think I've mentioned before um, is the fact that I did leave the office I was in so you know I was feeling really inspired and then that finished because I left because it was so expensive to be there and it wasn't worth the money um so I stopped being creative because I used to just walk in and the set was there I don't know whether that was me um giving myself an excuse whether I actually felt that but that happened and then you know my style's always been natural, like minimal, that kind of vibe if you like look at all my videos I've ever uploaded, they're all like that. So, you know, everyone started jumping on that trend, like the natural, no makeup vibe, which is cool, but I just thought everyone was doing the same. And I hate feeling like I'm copying people, but essentially my friend said as well, <laughs> Jessica, you're never gonna be the first one to come up with something, like be for real. Like, the thing is, People want to see your technique, how you do things, essentially. So I was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. And I was like, oh, I forgot to put my, uh, forgot to put my spot stickers on. Nah, I can't even remember what I was saying. But yeah, towards the end of the year, when all those trends were coming out, you know, like the no makeup trends, I was just like, bro, I just feel like everyone's doing the same. Everyone's doing the same, and I just don't feel inspired. Um, but yeah, now I'm over that. So, yeah, that's basically the two main reasons I haven't uploaded on my YouTube. I don't want to feel like I've abandoned YouTube, because I haven't. It's just I was not feeling inspired, so I just kind of left it. And, you know, it makes me sad sometimes, because I see and meet some of you guys out in public and you're like oh my god i watch your youtube and in my head i was like who watches that because in my head it's not that great <laughs> i was like it's not it's not that great like oh and yeah it makes me sad because like i've abandoned it and many people say like how much it's helped them and stuff which makes me feel happy but sad do you know when you feel that happy sad that's how i feel <laughs> but um yeah, I know like the proof is in the pudding. I've said this so many times. I'm always like, yeah, I'm coming back. But I never do like stick to it. But now I feel like there's a shift. Like I actually realize I can't just like grow my YouTube because my YouTube was so hard to grow. And YouTube in general is so hard to grow. I'm like, I need to honor it. I need to like actually put effort into it because people actually find this useful and so much has changed so I need to update it so this is me just saying hi I'm gonna do this like minimal vibe it's always been my vibe I'm not gonna change it whatever the trends are this year always gonna do it just re-update it with my new techniques new products because there's always new products coming out I do on my other platforms why can't I do it on YouTube and I want to be more personal, I want to do more talks, I want to do more car talks, I want to do more like just being personal but within, within limits because I'm not going to share my whole life on the internet. I'm just not that person but I want to like show my personality, you guys know me and vice versa because 
it's cool it's just better that way like when you know the person you're like getting information from i like it when i watch people i like to know that like i want to feel like i know them like they're there so yeah i don't want it to feel like i'm a distant person that like isn't real and they don't go through things because all you see is like me going out for dinner, me going out here, me going on holiday. No, half the time I'm on FaceTime upset to my friend. <laughs> so like, I just want to like balance that out because I know there's like a huge gap on my social media where it just looks really surface. But I can promise you, things are real. Things are tough <laughs> over here. But um, we're getting through it. Like this year, I have really high hopes for this year. I feel really good about this year. And yeah, man, like I'm really excited. And I've got like a spring in my step. I just feel light. I feel light, I feel ready. I feel like I know what I wanna do. So yeah, this is like my commitment to this reintroduction. Hi guys, I'm Jessica Pimentel and I will be your go-to person this year <laughs> for your makeup, for your skincare, for your lifestyle, for your advice, for your escapism, all of it. That will be what I'm here for. I'll see you throughout the year. Deuces. <laughs>